Hey everybody, it's the Pontic Mercenary, and welcome to part 2 of my ESF Flight Series tutorial. Uh, anyways, for this video I'm just going to go over the throttle analog key, which is very, something very important, and then the reverse maneuver, which is also something very important to know. So, just to start things off, if you notice in your settings, in your key bindings, under aircraft, normally the throttle analog key, or I should say, when you start off it is not assigned to anything so that's something that needs to be assigned because it's very helpful now I'm using E because I changed E from the exit vehicle key so you can use whatever you feel comfortable with I use E I know a lot of people who use S they like that a lot but to me I like having the throttle down and the throttle analog but it doesn't really matter just whatever you like so now that we got that I'll go ahead and just uh, move on with what it actually does. If you notice, when I'm going full speed, well, I'm not exactly there, but if I just hit E, it will bring my reverb to complete stop, as you can see. We'll do that with any ESF. So that's, the, that's what the throttle analog key does. Now, it helps a lot in the reverse maneuver, which I'll show you right here is basically something like this where your reaver goes backwards or whatever ESF mosquito scythe and using the throttle analog can help a lot just uh, stop a lot quicker instead of holding S then trying to go and then like that which you can do it with just S but it helps a lot with E or whatever your throttle analog is so basically with the reverse maneuver what it is is just a way to get your reaver to fly backwards or whatever ESF you're in to get a better angle on something so it's useful if you're attacking ground targets say and you come in for a run you can do the reverse maneuver just to get another shot off at it it can be if you're just hovering around a building waiting for infantry to come out different things like that and also if you're being attacked from the behind say from another ESF you can do the reverse maneuver and throw them off or something just to surprise them or just to get you know so you're not defenseless so you can get the, your guns pointed at them now to actually do it I'm gonna go and walk through and then show you basically what it is is just hitting E or whatever your throttle analog is your throttle analog key I hit that and then I hold on my S or the throttle down key just by default it's S and whichever way I'm turning if it's A or if it's left I do A and if it's right I do D and then you watch your thrusters whenever your thrusters start to point downwards that's when you start holding on space and you can use afterburner if you want just for a better flying backwards just give you an extra push so if I'm going forward I do E pitch down S and A space and then afterburner like that as you can see although that was kinda sideways ish but takes some time to get used to but once you do it you'll definitely use it a lot it's very very useful okay, now I'm okay. going to do the reverse maneuver on the scythe just so y'all can see that right here. okay now I'm going to show the reverse maneuver with the mosquito so yeah same thing as before let's go ahead and wait for those dust to turn Yeah, so that's basically it. And showing it down with all three ESFs. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video then for now. Uh, the one thing I do want to say is uh, oh, yeah, you can't land holding the throttle analog. So, if you watch, if I just hit E to slow down and then try to land, see thrusters will just push you back up even if you hold control down like this so you can't do that you just you can do it initially if you just tap it and then hold S or something but don't rely on the throttle analog to land or anything all right so that's the end of this video uh, next video is going to be about the uh, barrel roll reverse maneuver and then uh, after that I'm gonna have one about manual fire suppression so yeah that should be out hopefully soon Anyways, if uh, this video was helpful or you enjoyed it or anything, go ahead and leave a like, much appreciated. 
and stay tuned for the next video. So yeah, thanks for watching.